Hey, how's it going guys? It's John Santos and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to turn a sketch into a vector illustration that you can use for t-shirt production or any other graphic needs. And also make sure you stay to the end so we show you guys some tips and tricks into creating mock-ups and other things for your apparel. Let's get it. So in today's video, I formally introduce you guys to my wife Amanda, who we just, we just recently got married, but uh, over the last seven years, she's been working behind the scenes with everything that we do when it comes to our own business and different graphics and the marketing behind that as well. She has a wealth of knowledge that I definitely wanted to bring on to this video to show you guys a little bit more on the creative graphic side. Yeah, so today I'm going to show you guys how to take a sketch from pencil and paper and then or pen and paper and then bring it onto your computer so you can make it into a vector graphic that you can actually create a t-shirt design with. Alright so in this video I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator which is part of the Creative Cloud package. I'm going to be using this so I can create a vector out of this drawing. So as you can see this drawing has like you know, it's kind of fuzzy around the edges, and a vector is going to correct all that. And it'll never be distorted or lose resolution or any of that. So it's really important for people that are designing um, to use vectors, especially for clothing. So to find that package, you're just going to go over to John's YouTube channel, go to any of his videos, and go in the description. And you're going to see the design package, Photoshop, Illustrator, more. Click on the Creative Cloud link. So if you're a student, make sure that you get the discount. Um, you'll get all of the apps for under $20. So. so to get started, you're going to scan your drawing into your computer. I would suggest that you scan it as an image, not as a PDF. And then after that, you're going to open it into Adobe Illustrator. And you want to make sure that your color mode is set to RGB, not CMYK. And once you have that pulled up, I just renamed my layers to Trace. And um, what you're going to do is make sure that the image is selected. You're going to go up here to the Live Trace area, hit this little triangle. Then all these are going to be basically like default Live Trace options. But for my specific drawing, these weren't as detailed and didn't really like keep the drawing looking the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to tracing options. This is just saying it's really large and it's going to be really slow. So just hit OK. And then once you get in here, you're going to hit the preview button immediately so that you can see um, all the changes that you make in real time. Then I'm going to go over here to the threshold and I'm going to change that to 75 and this is just going to allow it to be a little bit more detailed. So you'll be able to see the changes right there and then the second thing I'm going to change is um, I'm going to hit the ignore white little button here and this is going to make the image transparent. So if you just want the like black or whatever color you're using to show and then everything else to be transparent, make sure you hit this button. But if the white is actually part of your design, then obviously you want to make sure that you leave that unchecked. And then if you are using other colors, make sure you change this mode to color. But I'm just using black and white, so I'm leaving it just like that. And then that's pretty much it. I'm just going to hit trace. And then this is the result. Um, and I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to save it. And then these are going to give you different options. I'm leaving it just like that. All right. And then I'm going to go to the Printful website. And I'm just scrolling down here to print designs for yourself. If you actually have a shop, then you can connect it to your shop and literally everything that you create will be synced onto your shop. Um, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to print designs for myself. So I'm going to hit start 
Then I want to print a shirt, so I'm going to hit shirt. And I think I'm just going to keep it simple with a white crop top from Bella Canvas. So it's a really simple top. Um, and so I'm just going to hit the color, choose the size, and then you're going to upload the design. So this is the right one. And then as you can see, it'll just pull up on the actual shirt and give you a preview. Um, I, I actually kind of like it there, but I think I'm going to move it to the side, right over here. And then you can actually make it larger if you wanted it to be like just directly in the middle. Um, it's super big, but I'm just going to leave mine small and off to the side. And then if you had a back print, um, you'd upload that right here. I don't have anything, so I'm just leaving that blank. And then if you wanted to actually add like a label to the inside or the outside, then you'd be able to add that here. Um, I'm just continuing. Yeah. So this is like a normal checkout to any store. Um, but you definitely want to preview your mock-up and make sure it is what you want. Um, the quantity, here's the price. And then you're literally just going to enter all your information and that is it. So for the purpose of this video, I made it really simple where the shirt would ship to my house. Um, but if you want Printful to fulfill the order and ship it to your customer, then you would actually hook it up to your Shopify website. And Johnny actually has a video on that specific process going into detail. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it down below or I'll put it on the screen somewhere. And that's it. That's how you make a drawing into a t-shirt design. Really simple. Hope you guys like it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll probably go in on my own channel and like answer whatever questions you guys have. That'd be nice. That way you guys get all those questions answered. And like always, make sure if you guys have any kind of video questions that you do want me to answer, comment down below because I am doing weekly videos to make sure you guys get your questions answered. And more importantly, if you haven't already tried Printful and if you haven't already gotten a subscription, check the links in my description down below. Right underneath that play button, there's a little drop down and I have a bunch of resources there. And I ask that you guys use my links, just click it, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me continue to create new videos to help educate you guys at no cost. And more importantly, also make sure to click on the descriptions down below and click on over to Bella Canvas's YouTube channel. They also have a great amount of resources available for you guys to kind of get to know more about the printing process, the apparel actual process, and uh, I'll be working on a lot more of those as well. So more than anything, guys, make sure you hit the like button, share this video, tag a friend, and more importantly, keep me in the loop with what you're doing. Follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. Let me know what's going on. If you have any questions, I always answer them there as well. I appreciate everything you guys do. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.